Hello, you guys. It's 5 p.m. and I feel a little off. And that's mainly because last night I went out for the first time since being pregnant for 37 weeks and having the baby for three months, however long that is. It's my first time being out. I think that was actually my first time being out in a year. Out to like have a drink, a good little party, whatever. I think out in general, to be honest. And it's crazy that a year has passed, and I'm now realizing at a year that it's been a year since I've bought a time was had. It was Jody's birthday, and so we wanted to, you know, do something, go out, drink, get poop faced. Okay, I wasn't poop faced. I ended up leaving the sober one which never really happens but i'm very grateful so um last night before i went i made sure that i pumped and then i came back this morning i pumped and i put in a, a little breast milk bag but it was six hours in between you know the time that i had my last drink and that i was pumping and i put in a little breast milk bag because i want to use it for a milk bath for mia and so i have that there right now i'm making some big chicken the oven is about to go off for me to flip them over and everything, but guys, a time was had last night. I go back to work next weekend, and all I can say is maternity leave was great. I got to bond with my baby. I'm I'm sad to go back to work and, and leave her, but you know, you have to do what you have to do, especially as parents. But um, yeah, she's currently sleeping. She last night too. Oh, I felt the mom guilt more than anything else. She was sleeping, and as soon as I started getting ready to go out, she just woke up and started going off, going off. And even after her dad came home, he ended up being up with her for a little bit. The nanny came yesterday. She came from nine to eleven, and you know, it was her first night here, so I was kind of showing her how I put her down and everything, but also. I was doing a lot of it because I'm like, I want her to go down by the time her dad gets here. When he got here, he had to be up with her for another hour and then she went down and she was fine. So I came home, but the mom guilt? God. Hi guys. It's been a little while. Y'all would not know that it's been a little while since I've picked up the camera, but we're here. Our girl is almost four months at this point. Right, sweetie? Yeah. It's a nice little burp, huh? all she wants to do is for you to hold her hands and for her to stand like this or she wants to sit up i think the last time i showed you guys her i had bought her that little i bought that little chair situation i put her in there today and we were just doing some tummy time as i showed you guys she was over that i think she wants a little nap right now it's 7 23 her i didn't realize it was that late her um her shower and stuff is at 8 so I'm gonna have to do something to keep her up for the next 30 minutes because there's no point in her going to sleep right now she's the sweetest girl tomorrow I have to go see my OB because is this TMI or is this information that other moms and other women would want to know probably is information worth sharing so I'm not sure if it's because of my c-section or if it's because I'm back on birth control, why I'm spotting in between my cycles. And I am. And so I'm concerned. So I made an appointment to go see my OB because we have got to figure it out. This is exactly how I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm not going to lie. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. And typically when I don't have my lashes done, I have my hair in two braids. I look wild. But now it's not too bad. I go back to work this weekend and I'm pooping myself mentally. Because what? uh my biggest drawback to going back to work is leaving the little tukester but obviously she's gonna be with her dad so she's fine healthy safe and well and that's great we have a nanny that's gonna come for two hours per night on the nights where um where her dad's at work and i have to go to work and her aunt's not watching her and so that's where we're at in terms of like scheduling for me, girly Bob. Hi, sweetie. Whenever I'm talking for an extended period, she just sits there and looks at me. 
Hi, love you. She's a smiley, smiley girl. All she does is smiles. Hi, sweetie. Love you forever and a day. <coughs> I'm making some curry chicken. When I go back to work, I'm going to have to be really, really intentional about like making sure that I'm wearing my masks and stuff like that, mainly because it's cold and flu season one. Oh. Remind me at 9.15 a.m. to see if I can get my flu shot at my OB. Remind me at 10.15 a.m. to see if I can pop by my doctor's office really quickly to get my flu shot. We'll see how that works because I definitely think that I need that. Especially because I'm going to venture back out into working and stuff. Oh. Some of my friends from work and I have this group where we where we talk, you know, and I just send pictures of me back and forth and I sent her, I sent them this video of her. Um, good job, honey. Come on, do the baby push ups. Put your hand here. Damn, she don't wanna. Good job, honey. Good job, baby. You look so cute. Good job, Jukes. Yeah. Give him some baby push ups. Girl, don't eat that. When they're pushing up on their hands, I call that the baby push-ups because that's literally what it looks like. It looks like <laughs> push-ups. Now, when you have her, um, all she's trying to do is like just sit up. I don't know what it is with sitting up, but I guess she's getting to that point where things are just changing. And I love her so much and I'm so obsessed. I feel like too, when other people hold her, which is very rare, outside of like her dad or whatever, I'm noticing that she's small. But when I have her, she looks like such a big girl to me. She looks like she's grown so much and like she's so big and, you know, her dad treats her like a glass cup. Like she's very fragile and she's going to break. It's the cutest thing. But like, she's okay. You can do what you have to do. But that's between the man and his daughter. Okay. That's between the man and his daughter. Honey, I'm trying to keep you up for the next 30 minutes. I'm cooking some curry chicken and I'm currently waiting for it to be done. I just put like the carrots and the stuff on it and like we're waiting for that to finish up. But the, what I have scheduled to do in the next 30 minutes is to uh, get her into the bath. I should open the kitchen window for a little bit, but I really hate opening the window because the flies, I cannot. As you guys know, I'm also breastfeeding and I'm kind of sad because I feel like when I go back to work, my breasts... Milk is going to dry up a little bit, and I really do enjoy breastfeeding her. It's a moment where, you know, she's like this, and we're able to bond, and I talk to her. She looks up at me and smiles. She touches my face. Oh, I'm going to miss that. But I'm going to just continue breastfeeding her. I think I'm going to pump before I go to work, and then I should be fine to pump in the mornings because typically when she's going to bed, I will pump or I will breastfeed her, and then um, the next time would be in the mornings. And, like, throughout the days when I'm, when I'm home, I could still put her on the boob but oh we want to continue breastfeeding because i didn't have her anyways you guys that's all that's all we have going on right now that's all we have going on oh shit i ordered some 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 groceries on target ain't nobody messaged me or nothing Man, what's the matter honey you don't want to be laying down like this typically when somebody starts shopping your order they will I can edit my order until 7 p.m. today. Wait, what? Oh, I thought I scheduled it for tomorrow, but it's for today. Hey, sweetie. Shh. I think she. Honey. Hi, baby. Would you like some boob? Her. She can't give me a minute to get it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shh, it's okay. It's okay, honey. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay, my love. She loves her some boob. <laughs> That's all I know. I'm so grateful that I'm able to make milk to be able to nourish her. It's everything. So good, huh? Hi everyone, Mia is talking and talking and talking away. So I did go and see my gynecologist and what she was basically saying is that my endometrioma lining is unstable, mainly because 
the birth control that I'm on is progestin only, which means that it's just progesterone mainly because my blood pressure is elevated. So there's no estrogen. Had there been estrogen, then my lining would have been very stable and perfectly fine. So it being unstable is basically it being up and down a lot of it. And so because she's not able to give me um, estrogen because of my blood pressure, I need to be making sure that I'm on top of the birth control. And when I say on top of it, I mean taking it at the same time every single day. I expressed in a different video before that I did not know that I was supposed to be taking it at the same time every day. And maybe somebody explained this to me, but I did not hear. That is very possible because typically they do explain this stuff. But I wasn't doing that. So she did express that that could possibly be the reason why I was, why I did get pregnant because I was taking them. I mean, sometimes I would miss a day and like take it the other day or whatever. It could be anything at this point. But um, yeah, there's that. One. So two, I also, when she did a scan, I had so many follicles. And she was like, oh my gosh, you're very fertile, which is crazy because somebody else had told me that before when they did um the, I can't remember what you call it, ultrasound, she put it inside. And um, they said it, but I never saw it myself. But um, when I went, I saw it on the screen myself, like all the little circles, all the little follicles. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to be so grateful to God because there's so many people struggling to have kids and not having enough follicles, especially if they're going to do IVF. Because I watch this girl right now, her name is Rachel Vin, and she's currently like going through it. And I really have to be so grateful that one, I do have follicles and two, that I was able to naturally get pregnant when I wasn't even trying. So there's that. So um, she was saying that I should try taking it the same time every day for the next two weeks. And if the spotting does not stop in between my cycles, because that's what the issue was, you know, if the spotting does not stop in between my cycles, then she is going to give me the IUD. And I think I want the IUD because she's like, yeah, with the IUD over time, your period might just completely go away. And I'm like, sign me up. Especially since she's saying that I'm very fertile, I'm just like, I don't want to be messing up on these pills anymore. And the next thing you know, we have, we have Dijon and Jabrina, we have Mia Jade. What are we going to have next? Ella what? Because I somehow think in my heart that I'm only going to have girls, which is so crazy. I feel like I'm a girl mom through and through though. I feel like I'm an amazing girl mom. This is me giving myself all the credit. I don't really know. We're going to have to ask them at some point. Mia's just looking at me, so I think Mia agrees, but I'm yeah. So that was that appointment. So I've been taking them. Tomorrow's going to be a week since I've been taking them at the same time every single day. I make sure I put a little packet in my bag because this morning when I was on my way home, it was 8 a.m. and I had to take it. You know, so I make sure that I have them with me so I can take them at the same time all the time. I just need to make sure that I always have water. I need to take my coffee cup out of the, um, out of here. My little, oh my God, it fell off. My little coffee cup so I can wash it so i can use it later on no i think i'm gonna use this straw and put the lotus straw cover over it it's so cute i bought them on amazon so so cute anyways enough of that i'm currently waiting for mia to go to sleep so that i can get some sleep too but that doesn't look like it's happening anyways i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one